I'm trying to trick Tom Patterson into being in the video. Like, I just want him to answer. Please. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing an unboxing from none other than Tom Patterson. <laughs> He's pretty much the guy to go to if you're looking for something unique. And today's video is no exception. We're going to be unboxing some really interesting and rare invertebrates that I am really happy to have the opportunity to own and show you guys and feature on my channel. So thank you so much, Tom Patterson, and let's get into unboxing. Okay, I am pretty nervous about this. All right have some really cool Vingaroon stickers. Thank you so much, Tom. So the top one, I know what this is, but do you guys know what this is? <laughs> Maybe I should just pull this whole thing out. Oh, I'm afraid I'm gonna accidentally like open something. Oh, wow. We have some Afonopelma Samani stickers. Okay. So I'm guessing this one is the small and this one's a large. Oh my gosh. This is the goth camel spider. That is the common name that I actually gave it. <laughs> this thing is ready to get out. Oh my goodness. It's like tearing up the... Oh my gosh. It's literally tearing up the paper towel. Tom got these in and he only got a couple in and they're not for sale. And I somehow managed to uh, extract this one out of him. All right. We have more. Yes, this is one of my favorites. And he drew these himself. We have a couple more things. These are things that I did not ask for. Maybe I did, I don't know. Oh yeah, okay, I know what these are. Okay, so this is a tea blondie. This is actually not for me. This is for tarantula cribs, but I'm gonna go ahead and set it up in a little enclosure. Should I put it in a tarantula cribs enclosure? Do I have any tarantula cribs enclosures that will fit it is the other question. Oh, I see some feet. Okay, you know what, we'll just... I think I have something. I don't remember which this one is. And I don't know exactly what to... Okay, I think I see it moving. Okay, this looks like a trapdoor. I think this one's a trapdoor. We're gonna have to get a better look. And this is probably the scary... Yeah, this is the scary huntsman spider that I told him I was too afraid to get, but he ignored me and sent it anyway. All right, so now that I know what all is here, I guess let's go ahead and get these enclosures together. First, let's start off with rehousing the tea blondie because this one's not mine. Let's make it a cool little enclosure. Since I'm going to be giving him his enclosure right back, I just think it's funny. You know what? Let's put a plant in it. Can I do that? Will that work? I don't think that's going to work. Here's a very little cutting with a little root. It's a brand new leaf. A little bit of leaf litter. Look at this tiny piece of cork. So yeah, let's go ahead and get this in there. Wait, where's my paintbrush? Here's my paintbrush. Don't really want to use my phalanges opening this one. There we go. He mean. Oh yeah, this thing is probably a little bit bigger than, there you go. Oh my gosh! <laughs> no! <laughs> oh fuck. Why does that happen to me? I was literally going to talk about how I really want one of these and now I'm like, I don't think this is for me. Yes, now stay down. Literally stay the hell in there. Oh my God. Why is this happening? <sighs> so it would be real groovy if it would just go the way it's supposed to go. Literally go down. If you can just like go down, I just want you to go down the right way. Dude, please just and go down. There we go. Don't move. Do not move. Nobody blink. Nobody say a freaking word. Next order of business. Why was that so difficult? Where, what am I even doing? Okay, let's do the trap. I think this is a trap door. So, so like I've come to find that keeping trapdoors in captivity is just not the most ideal thing ever. Unfortunately, I have lost a few trapdoors and just like not known for a really long time because they only, they like never surface. So yeah, I'm gonna say that owning trapdoors is not the most ideal. If you want an animal that you're going to see and know is alive, don't get a trapdoor. Like it's not that they do bad in captivity, it's just that you like really just don't see them. Yeah. Oh my God, it's so cool. This is what it's called. He sent me photographs of this species a while ago and I really wanted one. And then we just, I didn't ever order or anything. 
Um, so I guess he just like finally slipped it in with this. Oh my goodness. We're two in. We're literally two in. We haven't even gotten to the Huntsman. Check that out. Oh, this thing is so cool. Trapdoors are literally the coolest looking spiders, but you just never see them. So I'm like, do I get the trapdoor? I'm never gonna see it, but when I do see it, it's really cool. So I'm just kind of admiring it while it's out now, and hopefully we'll see it again in about a year when I get suspicious and dig it up. I'm saving the Huntsman spider for last because I don't know if I can handle that at the moment. So let's move on to these camel spiders, which is like the meat of this video. This is what I wanted. So yeah, I have owned a camel spider before and I actually had it for about a year I think generally keeping them in captivity they are not the longest lived but I have taken notes from those that have kept them successfully for a while and I'm going to emulate what they've done so there's like a couple different ways that I've heard people keep them so what Tom does is he kind of keeps them in smaller enclosures I think it kind of makes it so they don't really wander and like exert all their energy these camel spiders aren't really that large so I think this is actually gonna be a pretty good size for them so I am going to be using red to soil for them. I got the sand for the huntsman, which we will talk more about that in a minute, but I thought we could go ahead and just put a little bit of sand in this as well and kind of mix it together. Oh yeah, I really like this consistency. It's like a really, yeah, this is good. Yeah, okay. I like that. And I'm going to just do this. I was going to use these water dishes, but I kind of feel like they need something way more shallow than this. So we're not going to put water dishes in it right now because I don't think that this is ideal. So I got these really cool air plants. I thought these would be, I don't know, just like a nice little touch. And it is. It looks cool. I feel like if we don't let this one out now, it's going to let itself out because like, look at it. It's just been like digging this whole thing up and like making a burrow in the paper towels. Probably one of the coolest animals that I've ever owned. <gasps> Hi! Oh, this thing is so cool. Oh, you don't want out. You do want out. You don't. It's like, no, I've already made my burrow in here. I don't really need that. You are literally so cute. Can I see you? Like, come on out. This thing is so cool. All right, I'm gonna let you out. This is the coolest freaking thing I have ever seen. Oh my gosh. Look at it! What? Oh my god, it's so cute! Look at it! Oh, you stay there, my dude. Tom actually sent me a video of him feeding this thing, and it is crazy. All right, so moving on, let's go ahead and rehouse the other two camel spiders. So there's a small one and a large one. Do a nice little piece of cork here. And I have another air plant. These are so cool. And I'll put a little shallow water dish once I um, go get some that are ideal. So let's take a look at this small one. Um, I have no, oh, I see it's the little mouth. Oh boy, that is a little guy. Oh my goodness, and they come to life so quickly. Hi. This one ripped up the paper towels a little bit too. Aww. Oh, I love it. There we go. Oh, oh, don't, don't even, bro. I don't like this right now. I don't like what is happening. This is uncomfortable. Okay. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. What did Tom do to this? I literally have never seen a camel spider move that fast. Okay. I'm going to put it back. There you go. Okay. Just hold still. How did how did Tom even get these things in here? That's like the real question right now. Bro, get down. Get down, please. And that was the small one. Okay, so let's do the large. 
All right, and just a little air plant for this one as well. Um, this thing looks weird. Is it dead or is it molting? I don't know. So I'm just gonna take a picture and send it to Tom and ask him what's happening here because I don't know. And I don't wanna poke it and have it like freak out. So I'm going to text him. All right, so we have come to the part of the video that I have been dreading this whole time and it is unboxing the Egyptian Huntsman. Huntsman spiders are extremely fast. However, this is a different, really interesting kind of Huntsman and I understand why Tom wanted to send it to me because it's really cool and I mean, this opportunity to own one doesn't happen often. Plus like I can show you guys it and you probably never even heard of it and it's really cool. Huntsmen are scary. They, they kind of, they're one of those spiders that I still am a little uncomfortable around and mostly has to do with their speed. Really simple setup for this guy. So essentially um, this kind of Huntsman burrows in sand. He sent me a video of how they make their burrow which is really fascinating. So he said give it really fine sand and he said that this enclosure would be like perfect for it. So this is what we are doing. So I am really going to play this safe because I do not want this running across my floor at all. Oh my God. I'm just being really safe about it. Right, let's try to just like take this out, I guess. There we go. I would like to see it, but oh my gosh, it's really cool, you guys. You know what I'm gonna do? <laughs> it's, <laughs> I'm just gonna let it chill. We're gonna let it chill. It should come out, and I will get you some better shots of it once it comes out. So yeah, I think we are going to end it there. Thank you so much, Tom Patterson. Everything is literally amazing. Ugh, I love the camel spiders. I've wanted another camel spider since I had my other one, but they're kind of hard to come by. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like it if you did. Subscribe if you're not. And you want to be. Don't forget to have Instagram news probably way too much. It's at trainers.cat. You can go follow me there. I have a Patreon podcast and a Teespring. It is all linked down below. If you want to get a list of what Tom has available, you can email him at tompatterson77 at gmail.com. And let's get into the Patreon pet 